力の差を教えてやる。Hey, what is going on, guys? This is your boy, the Death Smasher, and welcome back to another Bleach Ray Souls video. And today, I'm not actually back with a showcase. I'm not back with、uh, any sort of summoning video. But today, I just want to go ahead and express my final thoughts and opinions on these brand new、uh, characters that we've got, and of course, the banner itself. Because I will, I am not gonna front it to you guys. I want these characters, but. It's just not worth it for me to go ahead and spend all my hard earned spare orbs that I have. Currently, have 4,291 orbs, which I'm keeping that amount of orbs for when Namaya's individual banner comes out, which is just in a matter of, of a couple days. And I want to go ahead and、uh, express my opinion of this mid month banner. So, the characters themselves, they are good. Really good, minus Aizen, because they did actually shaft his first strong attack. But other than that, All three of them have really great kits, and what I like about、um, all three of the characters is that instead of actually reusing the pre existing models for Ichigo,、uh, Aizen, and Kenpachi, they actually made brand new models, which looks in a way less chibi form, more akin to、uh, the manga characters, and it's just overall really cool. I'm gonna give Kayla big props to that because I am really liking these models. Because Ichigo is looking really nice, Aizen 2 looks amazing. Like, it, it doesn't even look like he has a big head. It, it looks like as if it's completely normal, has a normal body. Like, just look at him. Just, I really like of how they went aesthetic wise with the models. I think it's really good. And Kenpachi is, isn't any joke either. Like, Wow, just look at that. Look at that. <laughs> that looks really nasty. And, and Kenny looks like as if he just wants to go ahead and kill some thoughts. <laughs> like the thought slayer he is. But, anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and、uh, test play the characters out and give you guys my overall thoughts and opinions, starting off directly with Ichigo. So, he's a mind soul reaper killer with recharge, SP 790, attack at 630. He does have、um, 40% Bruiser, 40% Berserker, and will be able to hit hidden enemies, so you don't even need to give him a z e t a Ball and be able to hit enemies that are underground, which is really nice. Really nice. I hope that future characters do get this skill because I really think it's clutch for when、uh, bringing characters in co op. Because, yes, even though IZ has been rehashed many times, we still do deal with that kind of problem. But, anyways. Yeah, Ichigo doesn't have long reach, but his lunge is good. His second strong attack is pretty good, and he has a third strong attack akin to Zombie Toshiro. And the special animation. Look at that. Just look at that. And even his Bankai model is really nice. Like, look at it. These transform this transforming Ichigo is so fucking good. I'd actually argue to say that it's literally the second best、um, Soul Reaper killer from Mind, right next to Hikone. Like, <laughs> literally. He's just that good. I'm not gonna lie. But that being said, the one thing I feel like it's weird is the 20% damage reduction that he has towards Soul Reapers. Like, in my personal opinion, they could have just given him、uh, Havoc. Instead of,、uh, because. At the end of the day, if they decided to give him Havoc, he'd basically be just as OP as Koga. If it were that case. But at the very least, for autoing, he's gonna be really good. Like, you can just go ahead and build him with full damage reduction and stamina recovery, and he'll be able to auto IZ just fine. I'll give him that much. It's good. And、um, one thing that I forgot to notice is that all three.、Um, Characters don't have any sort of status elements. So, on that note, I was kind of pretty let down. Even though they are really strong characters, they have their own、uh, uniques and ups and downs. Just, I don't know, it feels weird to see a banner where none of the characters have any sort of status ailment. Because, what's a banner that we've got that literally had. 
characters that have no status ailments. Like, I can't even remember. Like, if you guys can help me remember, let me know in the comment section below which banner you guys think it actually is, because I really can't remember right now. Ow, Aizen. Yeah, just his first strong attack is not as great, because he, it does have range collision, but it's good. Also, the special animation is looking really fucking good. <laughs> it's just so amazing, man. But like I stated before, um, his first strong attack is pretty bad because it's like Manga Aizen, so it's only going to push back the enemies 40% mag, and um, he won't be able to do the best of the best damage. But at the end of the day, you can still use him. I don't think he's the best ranged uh, tech holo killer. Unlike, um, the Technique Rukia, but you can actually use him. He does have, well, infinite barriers, but not really infinite because once those three hits are done, the barrier is gone and you have to wait for 20 seconds again to be able to use the barrier. But, um, yeah. I really think that Aizen should have just had a better first draw attack, similar to the Power Aizen, which, in my opinion, he is still by far the best Aizen in the game, but, eh, whatever. Anyways, going into Kenpachi, which is by far the very first SP Kenpachi that is actually good. I'm not counting Banken because Banken has a really amazing kit, but he, him having no sprinter just made it worse. And it's actually good to see a Kenpachi have Frenzy, 40% Berserker, and of course being able to well, have a 25% strong attack damage link as well. Like, look at it. I already managed to clear out most of the mobs around here. Like, look at that. Anyways, let's just go and use the special animation. Which... Also, the special animation itself is so damn amazing. Like, look at it! That was taken directly from the fight against Ichigo. And of course, the strong attacks do become stronger, so... Yeah. It's good to see that they even decided to make these characters all transforming characters, but the one thing I found really annoying is, again, lack of lack of status ailments. And now that I think about it, none of these characters have uh, any sort of status ailment immunity now, do they? Like, hold on, let me just go and take a look back on it, because... Yeah, hold on. I, but that being said, I do want to point out that Kenpachi, the new one, is actually better than Manga Mayuri in terms of overall strength. Like, yes, he lacks recharge. He doesn't have the same flash steps as, uh... Okay, no, never mind. I was wrong. Ichigo has Paralysis immunity, uh, Aizen Freeze immunity, and Kenpachi has... Okay, he's the only one does this, that doesn't have a status ailment immunity. But I will say that Kenpachi is still... I think he is the best in banner. Be just because of how hard he hits with his strong attacks. Like, it's insane. So, yeah, all three banner characters, good, except someone Aizen is shafted. But the banner itself, look, I'm just gonna say, I don't think it's really worth summoning all your hard-earned orbs, like I stated before, because the character pool, it's, the rates are, the rates have been dropped. Instead of being the uh, usual 0.667% we get per character on um, double chance 6% gotchas, they decided they dropped it to 0.5%, all because it was in favor of adding way more fillers. And in my personal opinion, this banner has too many filler pools for a premium banner. Like, okay, it's a step up banner, but it's a 6% step up banner, and these are literally the, the fillers we have here. And most of the fillers, they have come back way too much. Like, how many times have we seen Ginjo? How many times have we seen Yukio? How many times have we actually seen Sajin? Can can you guys actually count the amount of times we've actually seen these characters? Like, I'll give props to Chad, I'll pray, I'll give props to uh, Shunsui, and I'll give props to you as well as Jushiro. And, but to these characters, not really. Also, Kensei has been really fucking annoying, and Ikaku is also getting on that level of being a nuisance, like... Ginjo needs to stop coming back. I don't think the banners are good in any way, shape, or form. But it's a good thing that these characters are in the premium pool. Because if you guys have the patience to wait until step-ups, odds are one of the three characters, if not all three, will be back in step-ups. 
Maybe. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And we can still pull these characters from 5-star tickets, BBS tickets, 4-5-star to five -star tickets. So, at the end of the day, even though, yes, the, the banner itself is pretty garbage, despite the fact that all three characters are amazing, we still have free-to-play ways to get it. Um, I'm not going to open the 5-star summons ticket yet, or my BBS tickets yet, because I want to save them for a future summoning video. But, um, yeah, that's just how I feel about the banner. Look, guys... You guys are free to do whatever you want with your orbs, but I, I, I suggest not to summon in this banner link. That's just what I feel. I gave out my honest opinions. All three characters are good. Filler pool, it's a bit too excessive, personally speaking. And the fact that they lower the rates, it's also really fucking garbage. <laughs> Alright, well that's it. That concludes the video. This was just something nice I wanted to make. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And yeah, this has been your boy the Death Smasher, and I'll see you guys for when I actually summon on Nimaya's individual banner. That being said, tomorrow I am going to be streaming Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that because I'm going to be doing something that is not BBS related, and you guys seem to want to watch that, so I'll be streaming it when I can tomorrow. So yeah, this has been your boy the Death Smasher, and I will actually see you guys in the next video. So yeah, peace out lads.